Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties from the month of April. I actually am really proud of myself. I finished off a lot of body care, a lot of wax, a lot of candles. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I finished. And I do just want to say before we get started, if you are new here, welcome. I see that we have quite a few new uh, visitors. Every time I post these monthly empties videos, we have a lot of new visitors come to the channel. So welcome if you are new. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you like Bath and Body Works, lifestyle, beauty and fragrance kind of videos. That's what I'm all about here on my channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and get on into the empties. Honestly, I don't think I have it organized. So I'm gonna start with what's on top, which is soaps. So I did finish off, I think three. I have champagne toast right here. Absolute love of my life. I love champagne toast in the, uh, well, in all of its forms, but this was really nice. I think I actually used this at um, my sink in the bathroom. I also finished off a lemon poppy seed. I was not a big fan of this one, honestly. I thought I would be. Um, the packaging is super adorable. This was poppy seed scone, zesty lemon, and sugar glaze. But the scent, after like a week, I got sick of it. <laughs> so I don't know, I think bakery soaps, even though they sound good in my head, using them is not always the best. So I think I'm gonna stay away from bakery soaps because the last couple ones I've been using, I've not been liking. So I'm just gonna stick to like fresh and fruity or um, like airy kind of breezy ones and stay away from the bakery. Okay, the last hand soap is Limoncello. I used this one at my kitchen sink. Love a lemon scent for the kitchen. This is Sorrento Lemons, Sugar Mint, and Fresh Verbena. Just a super fresh and simple scent. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the body care. You guys, I did so good this month. So the first thing I have here is the VS Pink We Love Fall Basic Vanilla Scent in the lotion. So I did not cut this one up, um, mostly because I didn't really care to cut it up, honestly. Um, and I just wanted to be finished with it. So I did use this in my project Use It Up, so you'll see this as an empty in that, but I did like it. It was vanilla marshmallow and warm chai. Just nothing special in my opinion. And I was really trying to finish up some body care stuff. So I just kind of like, I couldn't get any more out of it by squeezing it. So I just decided to put it in here. So one thing I did cut open is Enchanted Candy Potion in the body cream. Now this one I thought was definitely worth it to cut it up and use the rest that was on the inside. I really love this scent for spring. It's Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitch Berries and Whipped Pixie Dust. It's definitely meant to be a Halloween scent, but to me it kind of reminds me of, um, pink velvet cupcake, that's what it reminds me of. So it was really nice in the springtime in my opinion. I finished off a shower gel in wrapped in vanilla. This was so yummy, I love wrapped in vanilla. It is soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. Just such an amazing like vanilla icing scent. It smells so good in the shower, so. And then I did finish off my mini Kayali Vanilla 28 perfume. It's just so tiny and so cute. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this sometime soon. I actually did just buy um, the Skylar Vanilla perfume, so I'm gonna probably finish that up before I purchase the full size of this one, but I might ask for the full size for my birthday. I feel like that would be a good birthday present, so yeah, really enjoyed this one though. This was in my project Use It Up for the Spring. And then Ryan, my boyfriend, used up his Champion body wash. He said he was not the biggest fan of this one. He just kind of used it to finish it up, and honestly, it's not my favorite one either, so yeah, glad he finished it. He's just continuing to use up all of his shower gels that he has. He has like maybe three total. So yeah, he finished off this one. And then I do have two little mini trial perfumes that I have empties. So first is Coconut Palm from the Mix Bar. This one was amazing. I really like this one and I definitely want a coconut perfume for the summertime. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know. Um, I have my eye on this one, but if you guys have any other coconut ones that you really like, let me know. Cause I'm definitely feeling the coconut perfume vibes for the summer. And then I finished up my little mini in Not A Perfume. I can't remember who makes this, so... Oh, Juliet has a gun. There we go. It says it on the packaging. Finished this one off. I actually really did enjoy this one. I would also maybe ask for this one as a birthday gift, but I actually used it today, and I think it's a really nice one that kind of sits on your skin really well, and after a few hours, it's still lingering and when you go to like hug someone or something it, you can still smell it so i really liked this one and then i did finish off my shaving cream from eos this is the shea butter sensitive shave cream and i did repurchase this one in the coconut one i don't believe it's for sensitive skin but it's still this formula i really liked this formula from eos i think this is a nice like super thick 
shaving cream. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for one that you can get at like Target or your grocery store. I really liked this EOS one. And then I was working on finishing off some non-seasonal pocket backs. So I did finish Gingerbread Bakery. This one I think was in my car. So I just wanted to finish that off. And then Blueberry Crumble was in my fanny pack. So I just finished that one off too. I liked both of these, they were really great. And I think this is the last body care item. I got a Scentsy Pineapple Coconut Vanilla Hand Cream Sample Pack. So I used this up um, just at my desk for work and I really liked it, it was nice. I don't think I would purchase a full size, but I did enjoy it. Oh, I forgot that I had this little mini hand cream that she sent me as well. This is Vanilla Waves from Scentsy in the hand cream. I really like this one and I probably would get it in like if it was on sale in the sales section and during my next haul. I really like this one. So I did finish off three candles this month. I think that's a little less than I'm used to finishing off, but three is still good for me. So I finished off pistachio and toasted vanilla from Bath & Body Works. Loved this candle. It was so good. It was a little bit of a lighter throw, maybe like a six um, out of 10 on how strong it was. But the notes are salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds with natural essential oils. Just like a simple pistachio almond vanilla scent but I have figured out that I actually like nutty scents. So this one was really yummy. I enjoyed it. And I actually really like this like sweater packaging on it. I think it's so pretty. Next one I finished off is actually like surprised me how much I enjoyed it. And that is banana bundt cake. So this one came out again for candle day this past December and I picked it up actually at SAS. I don't think I picked this one up at candle day because I wasn't liking it on cold. But at SAS, I believe it was like $8, so I did just end up picking it up. The notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. And I really enjoyed this. On cold, it smells like banana runts, but when you burn it, it definitely smells like freshly baked banana bread. And I adored it. It was so yummy in the kitchen. It was like very nice and bakery, but without being too like cinnamony fall bakery, which is a struggle for me. In like the spring and summer when they come up with these bakery scents sometimes they're very cinnamon heavy and i just can't associate them with anything but fall and winter so i like feel weird burning them then for example sweet carrot cake for me that was like definitely more of a fall scent but this one totally year round i really enjoyed it and the last candle i finished was vanilla bean i enjoyed this one so much it was a super simple burn in my office the notes are madagascar vanilla bean homemade marshmallow and warm cinnamon nutmeg I don't think there was any cinnamon nutmeg in this. It really just smelled like vanilla marshmallows, but it was so yummy. I can definitely picture this in the fall and the winter, honestly year round, but in the fall and winter, I feel like this would be so beautiful, especially in places like here in Texas where it's not actually cold in the fall. I feel like a nice like vanilla marshmallow would still be amazing, even if it's still like 70 or 80 degrees outside in like November. So yeah, definitely like this one and I would totally pick it up again. And in fact, I might look for it at um, Summer SAS if they have it. So that's it for candles, but I have a ton of wax bars in here that I like didn't really purposely finish up, but I was really enjoying melting wax this month. So yeah, I finished off a lot of stuff. So the first one I finished off is the Country Candle Cheers Wax Melt. Now this one, um, it was definitely supposed to be like a champagne kind of scent, but to me it was very floral and like perfumey. So I finished it off in my bedroom, just one, one wax uh, cube at a time, mixed with some other like vanilla scents. And I finished it off. I'm not, I did not like this one. I feel like most of the country candle or Kringle candle wax that I've tried has been very powdery and perfumey and I just am not about that. I don't enjoy that in my wax. So yeah, not a repurchase for me. Okay, then I finished up four wax bars from Scentsy. The first one is Blueberry Rush. I really liked this one. It was definitely getting a little juicy. You can tell the packaging has turned a little yellow because this is from last summer, I think. Um, but I liked it. It was just like a super simple blueberry scent. Another blueberry scent I finished is blueberry cheesecake. Now this one I really enjoyed. It to me smelled like a blueberry cake donut and it was so yummy in the kitchen and I really enjoyed this one and I would definitely get it again. And then I finished off boho, which was just like a fruity, um, kind of like body care scent, not really a fruit that you would eat. So I liked this a lot in the bedroom, but I don't think I would get it again. It wasn't anything super special. And the last one I finished off is Crumb Top. I love this one. I actually think I have it in my Scentsy Club for um, quarterly subscriptions. So yeah, it smelled like a 
just like the top of a muffin. That's what it's supposed to be like, muffin tops. It smelled really good. I enjoyed this one. And I finished off two wallflowers here. The first one being Laundry Day. This one was really nice. I just had it, um, I think this was in Ryan's bathroom. He really enjoyed it. He just likes a fresh, simple, clean scent in his bathroom. And then also finished off a Merry Cookie. And this one I believe was actually like right outside this door. I like to keep one kind of just in the living room area um, just to kind of keep it smelling nice and warm. So that was those two. And then I have just one random hair care item. This is the Moisture Recovery from Joyco Conditioner. I love this stuff. This line is my favorite line and it was $9.99 from Marshalls. So I love this stuff and I've already repurchased it. So I've got a little bit of skincare and a little bit of makeup and then we are done. So the first thing I have is the Pixi Retinol Jasmine Cleanser. I really like this, um, but it didn't suds up when I was washing my face, which made me feel kind of weird, but I really only use this in the morning time. I don't know how the retinol like actually worked with my skin, but I liked it in the morning. I don't think I would get it again, but I think I just got this at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, so it wasn't expensive anyways. And then I finished off a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow BHA PHA Pore Tight Toner. This is the longest name ever, but I absolutely enjoy this stuff. I've used it solid for probably two years now and I already repurchased it during the Savora sale. So this is like an absolute favor for me. And then I did finish off a little mini CauseRx HA BHA Clarifying Toner. I used this one to travel last month and I liked it. I don't know if I would get the full size just because I like that um, Glow Recipe one, but it was nice and I would recommend it if you're looking for a cheaper option versus the Watermelon Glow one. And then I also finished off a Mary Kay Vitamin C solution. I love this stuff, already repurchased it. I use it every single morning, it's so good. Okay, now for some makeup. The first thing I finished off is the Revlon Kiss Balm in Fresh Strawberry. Apparently this has SPF, I did not know that. It says it has SPF 20, so that's cool, but yeah, I've had this for a while and I just finally realized that it was done because I got all the way to the bottom of the packaging. So I liked this one a lot and I have two other um, scents that I need to get through. And then I finished off the Lancome Lash Eye Doll little mascara mini. I got this in a set from Sephora. I liked it. It wasn't anything special though. I don't think I would buy the full size, but I did really enjoy how this wand worked. It just got kind of dry and so I went ahead and got rid of it. And the last empty that I have for this month is the Mary Kay Precision Brow Liner in Brunette. Just like a really simple, very thin brow pencil. And I really like it and I've already repurchased it. Okay, so that is everything for my April empties. I definitely got through a lot of body care. I got through six body care items, which was my goal for last month to be able to get through enough during my spring project. I got through three candles, I got through five wax melts, and I think I did pretty good this month. So I'm just gonna keep that going into May, I almost said March, into May as we enter the summertime. And um, I'm definitely gonna be purchasing during summer SAS. So I wanna get some stuff out of my collection before then. But that is everything for today's video. Let me know down below, what are you burning as we are in now March and we're getting very close to summertime. What kind of scents are you um, burning and what are you using? So let me know that down below, but that's everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.